so hello everybody Nelson over here again today we are going to make this huge long pipe nail competition nail whatever you call it and keep watching I'm using yeah I started with my nail bed that is made out, out of um, gel and my tip is with auto acrylic this is my butterfly nail that I just shaped down to an edge nail so I'm going to make kind of a hybrid nails so that's what we are going to do I am rolling my form around this nail rods and so and I cut my side walls on my form so I get it even tighter I get my whole form underneath my free edge so I actually do not need to pinch a lot because I get the whole shape straight out and tightly underneath my nail as you can see it's like I have the rod underneath and all the products that I'm using here and all you see here you will see down listed down below in the description box if you want to check it out and I'm just putting down some acryl acrylics together with some of the hearts that I made out of acrylic and just randomly putting them on and when you do that I am supposed to yeah just blob on the white on the top not too thick since these nails are not supposed to be thick uh, keeping my mind on the edge so I don't need to file that much around the edges and then I'm going to drill down to the uh, to the hearts so the hearts will kind of pop out again when I'm filing off the white and I am go I am pinching my free edge I do not pinch my nail I just pinch my acrylic free edge around the rod and here I'm using my black acrylic that I have made out of pigments and some holographic glitter. I really love this black acrylic that came up. It came out really nice. Yes, you can see out of the shape it's quite curvy. And just trying to keep it neat and tight and thin <laughs> I am not an expert in acrylic that is for sure I feel like I make a lot more mess out of acrylic than I do with gel but that is just because I'm more used to doing gel nails than acrylic nails you can see what I'm doing and that is the finished nail I'm just squeezing it around the rod again so keeping it tight around so it's staying holding the shape and I'm taking the form off and filing the edge so I get the nail straight out and I am supposed to here you can see the C curve on them <laughs> or the yeah the pipe nail form I was supposed to say that I was going to file around here now and this heart was supposed to pop pop out but I put them way too low in the white so I had to take my e-file and drill 
down to my heart and I had to put red acrylic on top of the hearts again and then put the white on again and then file it down again so it was a hot mess but <laughs> I got there in the end you will see it afterwards that um, yeah <laughs> so here I'm taking off the black nail and look at that curve <laughs> way too I had to file this a lot a lot a lot on the sides and get it quite thin and get the shape that I want with the file and I'm using super nail cleave powder and my alpha brush uh, number nine oval Kolinsky I'm using one ball over my um, my nail bed I have no idea why I have had an obsession to squeeze that ball over my nail bed but <laughs> please <laughs> I'm not an expert I just had got fixated on that doing that uh, just doing a thin layer of the clear so I do not get a really fat clear nail or a really fat nail trying to at least and trying to get that um, straight line from my apex and straight out to the end of my nail so the top is flat here you have it and there you have my <laughs> my arch that is finally out in the daylight and again I squeeze that clear ball over my <laughs> my nail bed sorry about that that does not look professional at all so just keep filling it up till it has a smooth and straight and not too thick coat on that nail. I do like to use my alpha brush, this brush that I use now, I do like to use that when I encapsulate with my, yeah, when I encapsulate and I'm using the other one when I'm sculpting. So um, here I'm using the other one, the clearly Kolinsky brush, number 10 I guess. So I'm using a red acrylic that I made out of pigments and glitter. And I made this nail is kind of a, um, yeah, stripes with a red, black and a white tip the white I just put a lot of um, holographic glitter in so just keeping it long and straight like the other ones and pinching it or yeah squeezing it around this rod as you can see this has a quite a seeker and capping it with the clear and when you have such long nails you really need to have a high apex in the back and together with the C curve you get enough strength to 
carry this much weight <laughs> as it is in these long nails so I had this on for about five days I guess with no problems and just that it was just really long and then as you saw from the picture in the beginning I filed them down and then I used them for about two weeks I guess and I am just slightly filing and buffing over the, the clear the clear acrylic coat since I already had a shape that was quite nice there was not that a lot to file around so keeping away the dust and I used my Madame Glam Sherry Party on my edge nail on my butterfly nail that is shaped down you can see my butterfly nail in the description box if you like and this is the second coat cure that and I am putting a clear coat of Madame Glam gel polish on my other nails as a top coat so you get that nice shine And cure that for two minutes and you ran it for 30 seconds in LED and I use this CND to get some sparkle in my edge nail and cure that and then I put down my top coat on this nail also and cure this nail also and then my nails were finished this is the long version and as I said I really like them but yeah they were still a little bit too thick thicker than I wanted them to be but I just really wanted to try if I could make these nails but this shape I actually really liked a lot I had them on as I said for two weeks before I filed them down so Thank you everybody for watching this I hope you enjoyed my long video sorry about that but there were long nails and if you like it give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't done it and yeah comments and yeah and I will see you all soon again I guess bye bye for now